All right. Now that I got your attention, this is serious. <sighs> okay. So I think a couple of us out there need a little pep talk. Okay. So this is kind of piggybacking on uh, Katie's video. And I love you, Katie, and you're welcome. Um, try to take me seriously with my hot pink lipstick and my side ponytail, please. This is serious. So, okay. Why did we all start Beachbody? We started because we love it. We started because we love the support. We started because each of us wanted to change in ourself as well as wanted to help others. Now, why did we fall in love with it? We fell in love because this business is fun. This business is positive. It's motivating. It's inspiring. Everything about it is amazing. Now, I'm a little out of breath for doing some 80s punk rock dancing, apparently. Um, <clears throat> now, there comes a time in everyone's life when something happens. Like Katie said, um, things with family happen. Um, change. Um, you are feeling pressured because financially you're struggling and you want to push harder or you haven't found your niche or you, you're just waiting for something to happen and it's not happening and you're losing, you're losing hope, you're l losing yourself, um, you're not there anymore, you're not what you used to be. Um, you could have started this full heart, happy go-getter, everything was about, or everything about Beachbody was fun. You woke up in the morning and you're like, yeah, I got five messages from these guys and I'm excited to answer them and blah, blah, blah. And now you're like, you roll over in bed, you check your phone, you're like, oh, Beachbody. Well, you know what? We don't want that. We want it to be fun. You want it to be fun. You, the reason you chose Beachbody is because you want to do something with your life that you're passionate about, that you love with all your heart. So if this ever happens, if you ever come to that point where you're just like, well, something's not right, something's going on, listen, okay, I'll be the first to tell you. For a while there, I was struggling um, for reasons I'm not going to share with everybody, but there were some issues I was having. Um, I was not myself. Everybody knows I'm very emotional. Um, but I'm also very bubbly, very happy, very energetic. And a lot of people were saying that wasn't coming from me for a good month. Um, I, my emotional struggles, my struggles at the home front was affecting my everyday life. Um, I wasn't into beach body. I wasn't into this. I wasn't into that. And whether things got better or whether they didn't, I realized this isn't me. This this is not who I want to become. This is not who I was becoming. I'm sitting here being the person that I tried so hard not to be. I don't like being negative. Um, I think that there's too much negativity, negativity in the world. And I don't want to be a part of that. Um, I don't want to be a Debbie Downer. I didn't want to be that person at the end of the table that everyone's hanging out having a good time and me just sulking. I didn't want to be that person. Um, and you know, me not being able to be there for my coaches, my team, my prospects, you know, I wasn't there full heartedly. So I took a step back, not back permanently or crazy step back, but I looked at the big picture. What was going on? What was important? I sat down and I rewrote my, re, rewrote my why. I went over my why. I went over what happened, where I wanted it to go. What did I want out of this? What did I want for other people? And I realized I wanted to be back where I was. And I want to keep moving forward. So everyone has struggles. 
everyone has a lot of struggles. You know, you're not going to skip through life with nothing ever bad happening to you. I'm sorry, that's just the way life is. That's not me being negative, it's me being realistic. But it's how you handle it. It's how you turn it into a positive. You don't get strong without there being something to overcome. So, I... My dogs are barking, they're gonna wake up my kid. Anyways, so do what you gotta do. If you need to take a day of just yourself, of just you and your family, of going to a spa and relaxing, whatever it is, sit back and don't turn on your computer. Don't turn on your cell phone. Stay away. Like, I don't want you to ever feel like this is something that you're running away from because you're stressed out in life or you have family stuff or whatever it is. Everyone deals with a lot of things. Everyone deals with it differently. But do not push yourself. Do not make it more than you can handle because then you'll eventually go on hating this. And nobody wants that because you're all strong and we all love you and we don't want to lose any one of you. So do what you got to do to come back and make it fun again. Make yourself love it. No, don't make yourself love it. But do whatever it takes to be in love with Beachbody again. Be in love with coaching. Be in love with the fact that you get to help people. Remember why you're here and remember why we love having you here. Each of you here are for a purpose and a reason and we wouldn't be who we are without each and every one of you. So today there is no homework but I all want you to realize that each and every one of you are very important and none of us could be here without us as a team. You know, the reason I love Beachbody is <clears throat> because it's not an individual thing, you know. There's, no matter whose upline you are, how high you are up, how low you are, how new you are, how old you are, whatever it is, everybody's here for each other. Everybody treats each other like we're family. And it's amazing. Um, I've never had so much support and appreciation and a business in my life. Ren and I have only been working for 13 years, but I'm just saying. And, you know, we are a team. We're a family. And we're here for each other. So if you're ever struggling, reach out to somebody. Because guaranteed someone, if not everybody, is going to be there for you. Now I want you guys to enjoy your weekend, relax, have fun. And I'll see you later.